Hey everyone, this is Kelly Kahoot and I am so excited to be sharing with you the Zen Ocean stamp set. Now all of you know that beautiful Zen floral stamp set that Honeybee Stamps has brought us and I am so excited to use this ocean theme set. It is a huge stamp set with this huge stamp. Uh, stamp. It's like as big as your hand. I am going to start out by inking this huge stamp up with VersaFine uh, sticky ink. And as you can see there, my stamp was really dirty because I had already been playing with it. No fear, I'm going to cover it up with white embossing powder and you won't be able to tell. Um, I had inked it before with VersaFine ink and that ink is sometimes a little hard to clean and I probably didn't do... Uh, as good a job as I should have cleaning it, but no fear, as I said, I'm gonna cover that up with that white embossing powder and you won't be able to tell. So I did add that white embossing powder and I'm making sure that everything is nice and set with my heat tool. And this is a really, really detailed stamp. So you wanna make sure and kind of tilt that back and forth in the light to make sure all your powder is nice and smooth. I'm using three Distress Oxide inks today. I'm using Cracked Pistachio is that beautiful green. Broken China is the lighter kind of teal blue and then Faded Jeans. And I'm just going to randomly add this on to that Zen Ocean stamp that I embossed onto that paper. I'm actually making four uh, different cards using this stamp set and I'm going to pull in lots of sentiments from one of the other new Honey Bee releases. Um, but I, I've gone about and done this, the, all four backgrounds in the same way, just randomly added these Distress Oxide inks in a random pattern and just kind of blending that on, making sure my colors are nice and smooth. And I'll oh, just look at that, it's so beautiful. And then I stamped four different ocean critters or seashells also included in that huge stamp set. And I am using my blenders there and just inking those up with a couple of uh, different Distress Oxide inks. So I'm doing like, um, the top of, as you can see there, the seashell there in the cracked pistachio and then the, the broken china for the bottom. And I'm cutting all those out. I did sprinkle these backgrounds with a little bit of water to get that awesome oxide reaction. As you can see there, those white spots just kind of pop up. And I buff off that embossing powder, that smooth embossing powder, to make sure that we get all that Distress Oxide ink off of the surface of your card so you don't get it on your uh, fingers or on the rest of your project. I'm going to fussy cut out these little critters and things that I stamped and heat embossed. These do, this whole stamp set does have matching dies. Um, I just don't have them in my stash yet. I'm so excited to get them though. And I'm using lots of sentiments from the Mermaid Song stamp set. This stamp set is also being released in this ocean theme release from Honeybee Stamps. And if you need ocean, water, mermaid, fish sentiments, this one is a go-to. Awesome sentiments, awesome greetings, lots and lots to choose from. And I'm pairing this You Are Fantastic up with that cute little fish from the Ocean Zen stamp set that I embossed and then used those uh, oxide inks on, making sure that is all nice and lined up in my mini Misty. And then I'm going to stamp that right onto that white cardstock that I added to the top of each of these card bases. The next one I'm going to do, as I said, I'm making four cards. I love this one. Let's celebrate. So cute. And I love, love, love the font of these greetings. It's beautiful. 
ink that up as well. And then that one is going to go with the cute little seashell that was included in the Ocean Zen stamp set. And here's a look at that mermaid song. It is a huge stamp set. It's got a mermaid image. It has some little critters and things that go along with her. And then all of the tons and tons of awesome greetings. This is sending a sea full of love. I'm pairing that up with the starfish. And I'm just laying those extra little accessories that I uh, stamped and heat embossed. I'm adding those on there to make sure I get the placement of my sentiments just right. I'm adding each of these uh, card backgrounds or panels that I finished on to just a white top folding card base and I'm just gonna pop those on there with some adhesive and then I'm going to add the cute little details and things that I heat embossed and colored also with those oxide inks. The first is that I love that Let's Celebrate and look at this beautiful clamp and it's got a little pearl in there. I'm going to adhere that on the front of my card with some Nuvo liquid adhesive. After I get that adhered to the front of my card, I'm just going to add a beautiful little stick-on pearl there over the one that was already on the stamp. I love that card. It's, I think it's my favorite of the set. And the next card says, see you soon. I'm going to add that cute little octopus or jellyfish. And then Honeybee Stamps has also included in this release these beautiful, this beautiful sequin mix. It, is it looks like bubbles so there are some kind of round sequins and then there are little circles and they're clear and sparkling and they're so beautiful to go along with all of the stamp sets in this release i just love them so I'm going to add a few of those on to each of the rest of this, uh, these cards. And I just added those with a little bit of that Nouveau liquid adhesive. And that one is all done. I love that. And here's a look at the whole set. I added all those little sequins, the pearl to that one. To see you soon with that cute little octopus or jellyfish and sending a sea full of love. I love those sequins, they, they just really look like bubbles. So cute. And here's the whole set together. All of these supplies are from the new release from Honeybee Stamps. All the supplies can be found in the description box and I hope you'll check out the whole release and the rest of the blog hop. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.